show you how to make a rose bouquet. Things you need, eight roses, some secateurs, a small vase or mason jar, and some scissors. First, you need to condition your roses. The first thing you need to do is take off the outer petals. These are called the guard petals and they protect the rose when the flower is in bud. But if you take them off, there's usually about four or three or four of them, it encourages the rose to bloom open instead of staying tightly shut. When you need, you've done that, you need to remove all the leaves and take off all the thorns, so it's a nice clean stem. Next, we need to make the bouquet. So you take one rose and then you place the other one on top. Always make sure that the, spir the stems are going the same way in a spiral. And then on top again, turn on top again turn and as you can see the stems are going in the same way on top again until you have a little bunch of roses then you need to tie the flowers at the tying point which is where you have your hand wave twisted it round so you take your string, wrap around once and twice, bring it to the front and tie a knot. And cut off the string. Take your vase and measure the flowers against the vase. So I need to cut mine off around there. So bunch your flowers all together where you need to cut it off and go straight across. Because roses are a woody stem, we need to cut them then at an angle. And then go into the rows right through the middle of the stem, about a centimetre. And there you have a hand-tied bouquet of roses. If you would like to add to it a little bit more, you could make a collar with foliage, greenery or gypsophila. So it's the same principle. You cut the jip down into little pieces and then you just place it around the edge. And there you have a rose bouquet with gypsophila.